When we talk about the capital structure of a company, we're basically talking about how a company has set up its financing. Um, and in particular, that would relate to the right side of the balance sheet, which would show the long-term debt, the short-term debt, the common equity or the, the uh, common stock of the company, um, and any preferred equity if the company had it. So the capital structure of a company refers to how the company has financed itself, and that would be captured on the right side of the balance sheet. Now companies can finance themselves by borrowing money um, through debt, and companies can finance themselves by through equity um, or ownership, either of one owner or of many owners, or one owner plus another taking in another owner, or in the case of a public company, um, many many owners. And the capital structure, therefore, captures how what kind of numbers we can associate with the debt of the company and the shareholders' equity. And from that, we can begin to look at how a company is set up and get a sense for, for example, how much debt the company has versus shareholders' equity, or um, how much uh, short-term debt the company has versus long-term debt, which would give a picture of how near term some of this debt has to be repaid and whether there's a risk of not uh, refinancing some of these debt obligations and so on. Um, the capital structure of the company also allows one to look at how much uh, debt is in the company versus the equity of the company or even versus the market value of the equity of the company which um, which would give an indication of how levered the company is. For example, a company that has a very high proportion of debt versus the market value of its equity and, and it, on the balance sheet it would capture the book value of the equity but we could look at the market value of the equity and the debt of the company and we could see um, what would happen if the value of the overall entity fell by a certain amount and how quickly arguably the, the, the equity would be wiped out because if we remember the, it's the equity portion of the balance sheet that goes up and down the most when the value of the company goes up and down because it's the debt that gets repaid uh, in preference to any shareholders equity um, and so uh, the capital structure of a company gives, gives us a very good indication of how the company has financed itself and that is um, what this, these two words and the term capital structure refers to um, the ca how the company has financed itself in relation uh, particularly then to its balance sheet and also taking into consideration the market value of its equity.